In this lesson, you will learn how to use the dashboard module. In order to access the dashboard module, click on the hamburger menu Home. On the left hand side, select Dashboard. If you are visiting the dashboard module for the first time, you will see a bunch of widgets displayed representing some of the data to you. If your workspace has enough data, you will see um, the content of the widgets. Otherwise, there will be no data to display. Um, you can keep those if you want. Uh, my recommendation is to clear the dashboard and design the widgets as you go. Yeah, so first of all, if you want to add a widget, just click on the plus button. On the plus button, you can see we have in total, as of now, 53 widgets, which are again divided into different categories. You have here a search box if you want to uh, search for any kind of uh, widget um, based on a specific entity. You can select it here or you can type another entity to display the widgets by keywords you are looking for. Um, you have also the, the widgets divided into different categories on the left hand side. So you have for tracking progress. In total, we provide 11 widgets for release burn up, burn down charts, forecast charts. You have same for iteration, burn up, burn down charts, cumulative flows. Um, are provided velocity tracking uh, as well as control chart. So if you want, just select one of those by double clicking on it and it will directly appear into your dashboard. You can do the same with all the desired charts you are looking for um, from the different categories. So let's say we select here feature quality status as well and one more chart which could be I maybe hear the quality and we go for the heat map and now you can you have a set of charts here what you can do as the next step is you can decide on the layout how you would like to represent those so you can select the 25 50 to 25 uh, layout um, and you can move those charts around if you want so they will be displayed as uh, you have selected here in the options for the dashboard layout you can go for a 50 50 or 100 and then divide it into three columns so you can say i would like to have one chart on the top which could be maybe the quality uh, application module chart and then you can have here additional chart on the bottom just by adding those charts directly to your dashboard module so let's say open defect by Feature. So this could be one dashboard you have uh, quickly created um, by selecting one of the out of the box widgets. If there is a chart needed which is not represented in the 53 widgets, you can always create a custom chart, uh, a custom graph. Just click on it, select if it should be a trend chart or a summary chart. Write down the dashboard name here or the the widget name here. So let's say this is here widget name and then you select the scope based on the license you can also have the chart or the the widget uh, for different uh, workspaces so it could be cross workspace select the correct entity you are looking for so basically the majority of all entities are provided here um, just select the one you are interested in so let's go for defect you can optionally select here a release as well so if this chart should be release specific, just select the correct release here, uh, as well as iteration and cycles. You can also add filters um, just based on the different attributes. Just select add filter and Octane uh, will show you all the attributes uh, related to the item type you have selected on the top. Select the correct um, attribute and select the filter type you are looking for and you can also add with uh, a logical end or um, filters can be added to the defined filters i will not use any for now and now you can also decide if you would like to uh, have a, a bar chart which is uh, the standard one or 
uh, horizontal bar charts. You can have a pie cake as well as tables. So this is something you can define. Let's say I would like to uh, create a chart for defects based on um, on the type of or on the phases. Phase is already defined. So let's say based on the severity. So we have here the severity. I will group by severity and then I can say this is OK. Save. And you will see that this chart is added directly in Octane. You can change the widget name here, defects uh, by phase and severity directly by clicking on the header of the widget. You can also filter it dynamically. So all of those charts in ELM Octane can be filtered automatically just by selecting one of the attributes and enable and disable those. So once you have created the charts, you can define the layout and you say, okay, this is fine. I would like to save and share it. Then you click here on the top. There is a favorites icon with a star. Select on the star and click on save new favorite. And here you can see this is the uh, overall dashboard uh, page for release X. Yeah, one dot x or x dot x and you can decide to share it with teams or uh, with everyone or if you uncheck those options this is just a private chart you can uh, share yeah? so basically when you do release reporting you create those charts you are interested in and then you save it under the release name and the next time when you come back uh, you just change here the release configuration yeah, so you can decide here what is the release configuration you select the correct release save it and later on you do it for all the widgets and save it as a new uh, as a new favorite yeah under a uh, additional release name so this could be now for release uh, x.y for instance and save it and those favorites will be available then from the uh, from the top from the drop down here as well as if you click on load and manage you can see all the different uh, dashboards you have created uh, dashboard favorites you have created for your private use as well as which are available for the public uh, use of the different um, the different uh, workspaces and if you want to load one of those uh, widgets you can just click on load and it will load exactly those kind of widgets you have created as part of your dashboard page. The last five widgets or the, the last five uh, dashboard favorites will be displayed here under the drop down. So that was a quick introduction to ALM Octane dashboard module.